Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Let's continue with Black. Previous lesson we finished our services. Now, according to my plan, we're going to start create our routing and area settings. Okay, start with the area folders. New folder. Areas. And this area folder has to uh, has to be same structure with the normal UI layer. So f first, um, it must be name of the area. So we are going to create our administration panel. So I'm going to give a name, admin. And after admin, I'm going to add my controller models and view controllers controllers yep but make sure the names have to be exact same with the main folder models and views then we going to add our shared folders and we add new item we're going to add view for the view start also view imports and again add an item Those are we start and let's have a look share it at new item layout and validation script error nah. it's enough we don't need those two at least for now if we need we can add it won't be a problem okay the area is created now okay perfect now we're going to create our settings yep now app we're going to create endpoints use endpoints and point And point I'm oh, sorry guys forget the bracket yeah and point dot map area controller root that's we that's the one we're going to use and name um admin comma area name is going to be oops admin again comma pattern I'm going to make a cheat here copy and paste controllers dashboard I'm going to use control which is going to be named as dashboard yep action index id uh let me think about it is everything correct about that pattern id yeah it's cool let's finish those things all right there is a yeah I'm going to add this controller root as well the inside of my endpoint so it is an unnecessary it's a it's really unnecessary up there endpoint of controller root default okay perfect but we have a kind of warning here and I did some research actually and for mvc user 
which we are doing every survey right now. So we need to ignore this error for now. And to do this, pragma disable warning. What is that warning disable? Warning disable ASP 0014. Yeah, all good now. Perfect. Um, let's have a look now. Yeah. Now we need to try this. Um, Bruce, are they is going to work or not? Okay, okay. Let's have a, let's create a controller here, just for the try. At controllers. Dashboard controllers. Okay, add view. Let's select our layout. It's going to be area admin view shared layout. We going we we are querying admin. A dashboard for admin so i'm going to use a layout for the admin as well let's add this one i'm waiting for the page still waiting Hopefully it's going to finish. Yeah, it's finished. Yeah, let's type here dashboard. Perfect. All right. Um, let's try to open our project right now. All right, guys. Now normally. Oh, we forgot to add the area, right? It works directly to the dashboard. That's a problem. Well, it's going to dashboard. It must be the admin, right? Admin. And I need to add an area here. Let's add our area. Admin. Perfect. I'm not quite sure about this. I'm going to delete that one first. Let's try again. It must be the open automatically. No. Let's open again. What's the, what's the problem? Yeah. I'm going to have a quick look to my previous project. Yeah. Admin, admin user. Home. Yeah. It's no problem. Oh, it must be out of the controller. Yeah. That's the problem. Sorry, guys. All right. It must be the work now. Sometimes I must forget a couple of things. I was keeping my previous project as a library and I'm using it and I'm, and I'm suggesting you to do the same. Create a project for yourself, like a library. And if you struggle with something, just go back and have a look for a second. Okay. If I type here admin, must be direct me to the admin site, admin page. Perfect. We got this. All right, um, I'm going to finish this lesson here. And next lesson, I'm going to create my layout page. And I'm, just, I'm going to start my, create my pages step by step. And we're going to jump into our controllers. Probably we're going to, uh, our service is going to be fixed 
step by step. As I told you before, we're going to add include methods. Let's see, let's continue, let's see the errors and let's see the, how we can handle errors uh, and we can go through with the other features in the future. Alright guys, take care of yourself, see you later on the next lesson, bye bye.